I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rain. Uh, today's video is just going to be a Christmas wishlist ideas video. Christmas time is for hanging out with your family and friends and enjoying the season together. But, you know, like, everybody adds, needs stuff to add to their Christmas wishlist and I am definitely not asking for all of these. These are just ideas for you guys and to help anybody out that's wondering what to get or ask for. Or, yeah, to get somebody for Christmas. Yeah. Alright, so the first section is clothing. There's not too much in this section because there's a lot of different like aesthetics and styles for people but uh, there's just a couple pieces that are pretty popular so first off are cargo slash parachute pants you can get these from like garage urban outfitters i've seen a couple they're really popular right now and they're more like a streetwear style you can get oversized shirts from Ur urban outfitters or garage again out from under tank top from urban the Aritzia Mega Raglan, Mega Raglan hoodie. It looks super cozy and really flattering on people. Also the Aritzia sweatpants or the sweatpants from Garage. I have a couple pairs of my own from there. They're also really soft and a good dupe for the Aritzia ones, but Aritzia ones are also good quality if you're wanting to get some. Uh, Airy PJs, the Essentials hoodie or Essentials sweatpants. These are more of like an expensive one, but they're also really popular. The North Face Puffer Jacket, North, North Face Puffer Vest, the Comfy. It's basically like a giant blanket and it's really handy for when you're like eating something and it's, it's not, because it doesn't fall off your shoulders. I really like the pink and the gray colors, but there, I'm pretty sure there are some other ones too. You can always ask for robes. You can get like really puffy ones or like just like the white simple ones from like UGG or like Airy or something. Also ask for workout clothes. There are some good ones from like Lululemon or Gymshark. Aloe is also a pretty popular brand. Lululemon. There's a ton of Lululemon stuff. I'm pretty sure like everybody likes Lululemon and it's just really good quality. So of course there's the Lulu Define jacket, the scuba, the scuba like hoodie sweatshirt thing, uh, Lulu shorts, sports bras, the Align leggings. Also good ones are the Wonder Under le leggings. Also good instead of the Align leggings if you don't really like those ones. And the last one in this section are sports jerseys for soccer or football, basketball. The next section is accessories. So there's baseball caps. You can get them from like Urban Outfitters. You know, they, they were like really popular last summer, but Baseball caps never go out of style. They're always coming back, like the UGG slippers, how they came back. But like the LA ones or the Yankee ones, uh, Nike crew socks, you, you always need socks. So uh, silk scrunchies, like the slip, like silk scrunchies in general, but also the slip ones that you can get from Sephora. They're, I don't have any and like, I'm, I probably need some because I wear a ponytail like every day but they're a lot better for your hair than regular elastics because they cause less breakage. Sunglasses, phone cases like Wildflower, Case Defy, or like you can get them from Urban or Etsy or have some good ones. Also AirPod cases with along with iPhone cases. And the last one in this section is crossbody bags. They're pretty popular in the streetwear style. They like go across like this. Or if you're not into that super style or something, you can always just get them because they hold a lot of stuff. The next section is shoes. Some popular ones are the Ultra Mini Uggs. I want these so badly. They look so comfy and like, like, I am very lazy for school and going out. So I think they're a good idea. Also Ugg slippers. They're like the, they're the Ugg slippers. They're like the... Dis disquet? Dis, dis... Okay, I don't know how to say that, but they should be on the screen. They're really cute in like the pink colors and the chestnut color as well, which is that one. They're the Nike Blazers, Nike Dunks, Platform Converse, and like the, um, the ones with like the... Oh, what's it called? The like... The thingies on the bottom. Yeah, also, or like the regular ones, or just Converse in general. 
uh, like some cute boots, so like the Steve Madden ones or Lundstone. Those were pretty popular a little while ago. They're good for like dressing up or just for the fall time, take some cute photos. Uh, Crocs, those are, sure, those are more for like a summertime thing, but if you're going to like, like even slides too. The final one is Jordan 1s. These are an expensive shoe, but if you're in the price range for it, they're a great gift, something to gift or something to ask for. There's the, oh, what's it called? The University Blues, the Mocha Browns were really, really popular like a year ago, I think. So oh, there's just a lot of variation, different variety, different colorways, same with the Nike Dunks. The next one is Stocking Stuffers. This one's kind of all over the place, so there's no real categories, and it's a bit more smaller things because it's going into stocking. But there's skincare headbands. You can get some like the really cute ones with like the bows or like the little like animal. What what is this? <laughs> the Smith's Rosebud Balm. I don't. I'm not a big lip gloss person. But it's like pretty glossy, but. It's like a nice gloss. It's it's a little more subtle, but it also hydrates your lips at the same time. Along with that, there's also the Summer Fridays Butter Balm. This one's more expensive than the Smith's Rosebud one, but it's also a good one because they look so aesthetic. Like, they're so nice. But um, there's fluffy socks, all, always an essential for the winter time. Claw clips, uh, gua sha, face roller. I like the like the green ones or the jade ones and then the pink ones are like the rose quartz ones candlewick trimmers are something that like i wouldn't have thought of because like if you think about it like candles like regular regular scissors obviously it's really really hard to cut so it's something that like you don't think of but would come in at handy really well and the last one are just like some chocolates like you can get a person's favorite or even just someone's favorite candy the ferrero rochers are really nice too this next section is pretty big because it's the beauty section and there's a lot you can start off with a makeup bag from like etsy or something uh you can get the laneige, laneige lip set it's really hydrating for your lips and like the like little mini ones i think it's a better like bang for your buck i'd say than getting the full size one although those those do last like a, a really 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 long time Sol de Janeiro perfume. I used to have one, but I lost it. I really like the 62 one, as well as the pink one, I think it is. Yeah. Also, along with that, the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. It, it's pretty small for how much money it is, but if you, a good hack that I saw is if you mix it with a like regular non-scented lotion, then you can make it last a lot longer. They have a lot of different Sol de Janeiro sets on Sephora. They have like the, um, like where you can get the body wash or like the travel size sets or just a lot. <laughs> also Sephora gift sets in general, like they have a lot of nice ones and it's not, I, I think it's nicer to get um, like the sets than just like individual products. And sometimes it's cheaper to get those little things than a bunch, like some, a little, than different like bigger ones. The replica perfume, I actually have my own of it. I like the cleaner, more cleaner scents for like the clean girl aesthetic. You can get like the bubble bath one or lazy Sunday morning is a popular one as well as beach walk or just replica perfumes too. Uh, hair masks from like Away or Mika, Drunk Elephant products. They're, they're a bit more on the expensive side, definitely, but they're also really aesthetic and they actually work too. The Drunk Elephant Debronze drop things, I think. No, but they make your face like really glowy and it's really nice and tan looking. Super Goop Glow Screen, Dior Lip Oil. That one's pretty, been pretty like really popular this year. And the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, Summer Fridays Sunscreen too. Olaplex hair products. I've heard so many great things about these products. I haven't tried them myself, but like if you have damaged hair or breakage or you, or you just like to do something nice for yourself, they're a nice brand to buy from. And they also have gift sets on Sephora as well from Olaplex. Method body wash. I have the like coconut one. It's a really nice combo with the Sol de Janeiro perfume because it's very tropical-y. 
philosophy body products as well like their body washes skincare fridge or you can use it for like a, just a regular mini fridge in your room for like pops or mini snacks or whatever uh, self tanner this is really important for me like for me i think for the winter months because i get pale like i tan pretty easily but winter time pasty pale ghost some popular brands like and the brand that i use are the isle of paradise ones that you can get some from sephora as well but some ones that people have also talked about are the tanologist ones milk makeup blush i use this blush in the shade work and i i don't know i really like it because it gives it like a dewy look but with, but it's not too pigmented so you can control it uh, you can always ask for new brush sets i know i know that you never clean your brushes I know you need some new ones because the hairs are falling out of yours, but they have some nice ones on Sephora too. I know I talk about Sephora a lot, but it's beauty. It's the beauty section. What else are you going to get? You can ask for a hair straightener, a hair crimper, a beach waver. I've seen a couple on TikTok too, where it like curl, it like you put your hair in it and it curls it up for you. And it comes out with like really nice beach waves. So I think it's pretty nice. And the last one are pressed 3D whitening strips. The next section are electronics. First off in electronics, I think we gotta get it out of the way. Obviously Apple is gonna be in here. All right, so Apple AirPods, I just got some recently and I really like them. The Apple iPad, Apple Pen, Apple Watch. That one's good for like, if you're working out or at least you will want to track your heart rate or like how many steps you're taking. It's just a fun thing to look at too. AirPod Max, those ones are really popular. Sony headphones as well. They're good dupe for the Apple, like the Air Max headphones as well. And they're really nice looking too. Ask for a laptop or a MacBook, uh, disposable cameras, an Alexa, a phone Polaroid printer. It's like those like, I think it's called an Instax mini thing where you like hook it up to your phone and it prints out the pictures in like a Polaroid style, st the Polaroid style for you. Uh, you can also ask for a Polaroid camera if you don't want to do that. A speaker like the JBL or the Wonder Boom ones are really good. You can ask for a Can the Canon G7X camera. This one is like it's it's one of the cheaper cameras and almost every YouTuber uses it. It's really popular. I don't I haven't used it yet, but it's also good if you're wanting to take pictures or start up your own YouTube channel. Going along with that are tripod, like a stand one to take like Instagram photos or film videos or TikToks or a handheld one if you're like doing vlogs or like setting it up on like a desk or something. And there's room decor section. You can ask for a galaxy light projector, cozy blankets, like throw blankets from UGG or Urban Outfitters, Indigo, those kind of places. Bath and Body Works candles. Especially for this time of the year, like the fall time with the cinnamon scents, the cinnamon. Oh my god, it's so good. And the Christmas scents too. Heavenly. Everybody waits this time of year for the Bath and Body Works candles, I think. And they're really nice too. A bean bag, like you know those, um, like those like giant, giant bean bags that you can get from like Amazon or something, and they're white and fluffy, and they just look really comfy too a mushroom light like the they were popular a little while ago but the mushroom lights from urban outfitters those ones are cute and they're like made of glass so they're really nice looking a led digital wall clock a weighted blanket slash stuffed animal an essential oil suffuser from urban outfitters those ones are really nice a record player also from urban outfitters they're really nice to listen to like especially with christmas records and stuff it's just that it gives that very cozy feeling uh, silk pillowcases. I actually have one of my own as well. They're really good for your hair and your face and stuff. I'm not sure if it's true, but it feels nice. And then the last one is a light up desk mirror for doing like your makeup and stuff. And you can get those, um, like those like booth ones with the light bulbs around you or just like one of those fold open table ones too. And then the final section is randoms. So this one's like it's sort of like the stocking stuffer section, but just more bigger things. So there's water bottles from like 
Hydro Flask or Lululemon or just Amazon water bottles, like the ones with the timestamps on them as well. You can ask for books. I started getting into reading this year a bit more and like some good books are like obviously Colleen Hoover books. There's um, like I've read the Summer I Turn Pretty series. That one's pretty good. It's more of like a YA series, which is fitting, but you can ask for books. Touch hand, hand sanitizer, matcha set, a yoga mat, subscriptions to like Spotify or Netflix, uh, gift cards to your favorite stores. Starbucks gift cards always come in handy. Those are a great gift to get and to give and receive. Glass straws, cute mugs, like those like handmade ones or like the ceramic ones. Also another thing is to paint mugs slash plates, like to go to one of those places with friends or family and it's a good activity to like bond or something rather than getting somebody something you can make it with them and i think that's a cool experience and and they're super cute looking in the end too and the final one are concert tickets to like taylor swift selling them recently or there's you can go to different ones like the weekend as well that will conclude the end of today's video Thank you so, so much for watching and remember that Christmas is about spending time with your friends and family and enjoying the holidays together. I hope this Christmas wishlist video gave you some ideas or some help to what to get people or ask for on your own wishlist and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about?